Good morning. Good morning. Anna de Granda, representing uh, England as an adjudicator, former champion, great trainer, great coach, and she has lectured many, many times at our WBSF congresses for adjudicators. So, wow, if we talk about experience, knowledge, we get some uh, opinions and thoughts of you of last night, this fabulous uh, Latin World Championships. What was your impression? Did you enjoy it? Oh, absolutely. Um, it was a wonderful championship in every regard, and I think um, all the judging panel would agree, and also the public. It was absolutely a beautiful championship. Um, it's the way it should be up to the level from the first round. The atmosphere was spectacular. The lighting, the hall, the audience, and I think couples does likewise. You know, from the very first samba, yeah. from the very first round until the very end, it was a spectacular event. You have uh, judged till the 24, um, using a system where you are responsible for the whole performance, and then suddenly from the 24, it changes into an absolute judging system. And I've seen in your records, you, uh, you judge the technical quality um, and, and the partner and skills the final, yeah. in the 24 and the 12. And then you had to change, food for thought, refocus, and, and then you judged the components in the final. And in a minute we are asking David, our engineer, to, to, to show us some uh, samba in this final, you had to change your mind to focus on movement to music and, uh, and partnering skills. So David, uh, yes, you're right, yeah, I'm a little bit tired after such a short night, but thank you Anna. Um, David, could you surprise us with one of the couples? And for the viewers at home, we don't know what couple enters the floor now, but these are our world championship representing Moldova. And I ask uh, kindly to Anna to give just some comment in general about the performance of this couple. We see this samba. Do you think if it comes to movement to music and uh, the choreography presentation, you mark them a very high score. Could you explain our viewers around the world what you like about them? Um, I think um, this couple had a, a very great night yesterday and um, they were defending champions and it's always a tough position to be because everybody wants to beat and challenge their first couple. And um, it was very, very tough to judge. It was very difficult for the couples. It was very difficult for us because um, the second and the third couple tried their best to challenge the champions, of course. But I think um, Gabrielle and Anna did absolutely amazing job because they stand out as the true champions in the terms of how they handle the floor, how they handle the performance the respect they had for other competitors, you know, and the quality of dancing, I think they proved themselves to be true champions one, once again. And they had very strong rival from Russian couple, I think, and uh, which also was, they were dancing very, very good. But um, in terms of this particular component that was judging, of course in the recording, um, it's, it, the feeling is a little bit different in terms of how the music match, you know, the movement. But when you watch live, I think it was very, very musical. It was soft. It was full of characteristics of samba. And in the past, um, Anna was criticized for uh, a lot, actually, uh, for being uh, athletic, too athletic, because um, our uh, um, kind of sport is still artistic kind of sport, so apart from uh, our athletes should be fit and you know, More they, feminine they now. should stay uh, feminine and masculine and I think they did a great job, uh, they certainly worked on this aspect and she looked very feminine, it was noticed by almost everybody. Well, thank you Anna for sharing this view with us, thank you. David, do we have a, a, another couple?
We're still looking, viewers. Uh, this is the first round of this great final of the World Championships. And as you know, we have three group dances and two solo dances. This is the first, and we're looking to the bronze medal winners representing Germany. Um, what do you like about this couple? Here, the feminine uh, part of the couple and the masculine part of the couple is always present. Christina is a very strong female dancer, and also she's a great athlete. She's a true fighter inside, you know, so, but she never uh, fails to look uh, ladylike, you know, like very beautiful and absolutely attractive. A very, very good performance as well from them, I think. Again, um, I think the choreography is very clever. Uh, they got some beautiful parts, which allows them to uh, actually underline them and highlight, you know, more the, the relationship and this couple they have. Music-wise, it's full of body rhythm. It's yeah. a beautiful classic movement like rolls, for example, which always uh, scores high with the technical quality because it's not an easy movement to do. Very nice. Yeah. I think I have a question for you, Anna, because this is really what our viewers want to hear, these kind of comments. It, it will not only bring more knowledge uh, to the viewers around, but for the couple themselves, for the trainers, the coaches, because normally we see the result, absolute score, it's only on black and white, and then you gave 9.7.5, for example. But having this kind of explanation, for the viewers and even for the dancers, maybe for the trainers, your point of view as a top coach in the world um, is, is, I think, quite amazing, it's quite important, it's, it's a new dimension added to it, so thank you for that. Oh, thank you. Thank you, um, you know, um, this first ever pilot debriefing session uh, has been initiated by uh, our president and his presidential task force. Um, the first priority is that this session could help, I don't know, but it could help uh, to combat uh, competition manipulation. Um, and I, 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 I really admire every answer you get uh, and I will respect it fully, but do you think that a debriefing this session like this really helps to avoid, to combat this manipulation? Um, I think it's a great idea to actually discuss um, the results of the championship after with all the experts and um, I, I think we, it's, it's a fabulous idea. Uh, which form it should be better conducted, one-to-one -one interview or it should be a whole panel of judges discussing together is a question and I think we will shall find out <laughs> what works better. But of course, any steps that are uh, directed to, to you know, fighting the corruption and any kind of uh, misjudgment or you know, any manipulation is always welcomed by all, all the dancers, all the athletes. And I think it's, uh, at the end, uh, it's going to be appreciated. Whether it's going to help or not, we will see. Yes, time will, eh? yes. time we will hope, give the We answers. hope it will help. Yeah, we step in this direction. Is very yeah, important. well, thank you for sharing your opinion with us. And, and if, if we look to um, the absolute judging system as it is now, uh, we have four components, we have quite some sub components, and we have a lot of indicative qualities. Um, you are a very experienced judge. Um, and you have given lectures about some of the items in, in, in our handbook of adjudicators. If you would have the task as an expert to make alterations, to make some changes uh, to the handbook, do you have any suggestions or any ideas what, what would be better for the future? I think uh, we always can improve and should aim to improve. So whatever work is done is very important and I don't want to diminish, you know, the, the work done already. Could we better it? Absolutely. And we should always seek for the ways to do it. And I think it's um, our task for all of us together. 
to discuss. That's why like the briefing sessions and uh, discussions how to improve things are very, very important because um, it's really difficult to say in two words you know, what can be done. But uh, what we're trying to do is actually we're trying to um, help people to give them as much guidance as possible in their judgment informing their judgment, but I think what is also makes it a little bit difficult is, for example, in figure skating, uh, they have a program which is obligatory, and then they have the program which is free. So in our activity still we need to find out the way, how better to evaluate the performance of each This puzzle. is a very interesting point of view. Uh, being discussed already, so thank you. For example, some yeah. figures could be obligatory, so we could see them and uh, then we could award a, a particular you know, points for this or that figure. Because some figures are very attractive for the audience and they have lots of attention and people love it. But actually for any expert in, tech, in terms of technical quality, understand that this is a very easy thing to do. And something uh, very, very difficult can also be very beautiful when uh, done on a high level. But actually, when couples are really good with it, then it's going to look like it's very easy. So the public will think like, oh, my grandma can do that, you know, but only until they try. So um, I think the true uh, mastership lays in actually in the lightness of movement and when it looks very, very easy to do. You're so right. Thank you, Anna. Is there, uh, when we go to the judge, is there any couple in particular you would like to uh, see on the screen? Um, it's your choice, please. It's my choice. <laughs> yes. Well, I noticed yesterday uh, I was sitting there with my iPad and the scores were coming through. Uh, so uh, it was very interesting for the first time for me ever to see the scores straight away. I never witnessed uh, I never that. had this before. <laughs> no, I, I, it was yeah, most peculiar. Sure and then uh, after the first dance I saw there was quite some distance um, between the winners and the, it seemed to be the favorites of the crowd, uh, Timor and Anna. Uh, so, Nina. Uh, yeah, and Nina, sorry. And Nina, please, uh, David, could you uh, uh, show us their jive? They're finishing fourth in the end result. And Were they also fourth in the jive? Uh, I don't know. The, the, the overall oh, result. Would be I, interesting to know, actually. I will have a looky looky for you, and then maybe you can uh, comment our viewers uh, um, what you like about the movement of music and especially about the choreography of the yeah. your components. So please. What I can say, Timur and Nina had quite a night yesterday with the public and it was it's always an amazing uh, thing to see when uh, public choose to love someone yeah. <laughs> and support and it happens sometimes and I think it provides very happy memories for, for the dancers um, even maybe more than the result with the uh, years passing you know and they had a fabulous night last night and um, particularly talking about jive choreography I think it's um, uh, very good uh, and uh, it's very playful. That's what people like to see in, in the jive. You scored a 9, 7.5. Yes, for performance, I think. Uh, for the choreography. For the choreography and presentation. And presentation. Yes. Yeah. Because it, uh, this choreography has very different elements. And for example, here when Timur cannot see the video standing on his feet, this is uh, from jazz ballet, you know. So uh, Timur did uh, ballet in the past, you know, he did folk dancing, so uh, he used the elements he incorporates in his dancing. And it always looks fantastic when you can see that people find uh, the bond, the transition from different type of dancing and incorporate in our type of dancing. And um, I like the choreography because it's got enough pumping action, which is very typical for jive. And it, it was very interesting to watch. You see like little elements, yeah. like the little heel detail from Nina. It was not by mistake, it was deliberate. So little points like that. So attention to the detail. And I think the choreographer look at these elements uh, Timur does every time he, he does this moment. What about People this? go crazy, you know. <laughs> Can you imagine that um, well, colleagues <laughs> are doubting yeah. about these kind of actions in jazz? Um, it's a personal choice um, and I think that uh, some people will like it, some people will probably don't approve at all.
But if our couples don't dare to try different elements, you know, uh-huh. our, our activity can become quite dull, you know, and too athletic. Okay, maybe some movements sometimes are too much, but you must understand that this is also an emotional moment for this couple, and sometimes they do things, they uh, in, incorporate a little bit of improvisation. So it's not always, um, you know, planned to do exactly I'm, like it's I'm happy thought. you say this, but because for sure we talked about maybe Look, some negative They give all their heart and soul, you know? They all give it all, and they are all great dancers. Exactly. We should not forget that. You're exactly. so right, Anna, you're so right. Well, finally, uh, to the conclusion of this uh, session, uh, we would like to ask just another couple. A couple we did not see so far. David, is that a possibility? I know we started very, uh, very early in the morning. Yeah. Well, La Douce France being placed fifth in the overall result at this fabulous world. I think Charles and Elena are very, very strong performers because anybody who saw this couple uh, not only on the competition but also on the show dance will never forget their spectacle you know, because yeah. they are amazing performers. Yeah. It's um, very difficult uh, for, for couples to compete because they have to think of athletic side, they think uh, not only about the performance. And for some people, it's um, maybe easier when you have a particular role, if you like to say, when you're dancing the show. Uh, but nevertheless, I think they did a great job. Um, I, I personally liked very much their performance. It was also good if I had to mark their technical quality. I think it would also have scored quite high with me because look, lots of pumping action. And this is their most characteristic uh, action for jive. The body position is very good, both of them, you know. Uh, the connection between the couple, and uh, I think the audience also showed their appreciation for such yeah. a performance. Thank you, Anna. And my final, one of my last questions will be, uh, if the skating system would have been used all the way through, do you think the result would have been the same? We cannot say we could have been, uh, honestly, because uh, with the system, I think is element more element of a surprise because, uh, in some ways, it's more direct with the placing of the couples. But um, at the same time, um, it's really difficult to say what, what would have happened. But I think overall, um, the results were uh, quite good. The only thing is, I wish we had a seventh place uh, for one more couple, Andres, Silvestri, and Martina. Because I think um, they danced absolutely fabulously yeah, well, last night. All year through already. Yes, right? and they are also very yeah. couple, very Latin American couple. Knocking on the door <laughs> all the time. But so, you know, Anna, uh, we always have been trained that at the end quality always will win. Eh? So, yes, so I hope for that. So the if they still bright, see yeah. this video, then I hope this will encourage them a little. Finally, Anna, I really enjoyed uh, talking with you because you're so positive and I think you are very diplomatic in your answers as well, even on my stupid questions, some of them, no, you really no, challenge them amazingly. <laughs> um, do you have any idea how we, um, how we should uh, help the country? not being as good as now. For example, Asia, uh, Africa, the continent, South America, how we could help them in developing the Latin American section better as it is now? Um, I think actually soon we might have another problem, you know, <laughs> because they're, they're developing very well without our help. <laughs> <laughs> because uh, China has at least two million uh, people dancing, you know, I don't know if people know about it or not, but there are lots of couples, lots of clubs, and it's very, very popular. And especially Latin American is very popular, and they have amazing schools, and they're developing very, very fast. So the future for WBF is a bright one. I think so. Also, uh, Asian people are very hardworking. 
they are very hardworking, but uh, in terms of uh, they receive the information a little bit later than uh, Europe, and I think uh, that shows the difference. But we can uh, soon see uh, more couples, you know, coming higher. I think from the Asia. I found one complaint, Anna. Am I allowed to make a complaint? Please, please, please. My complaint is, I find it a pity that we have to stop this conversation now because <laughs> I, have, I have the impression that we could talk for hours about dancing. Absolutely. I think <laughs> the viewers around the world really will appreciate your uh, thoughts and uh, I think it is really helpful and thank you so much for sharing. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Thank you.